Tuesday was an exciting night for the Flames here at Liberty Baseball Stadium as the Flames walk off with a 5-4 win over the Maryland Terrapins here. Andrew Yasek with the game-winning hit in the bottom of the ninth inning to drive in D.J. Artis as the Flames win it over the Terps and put to bed their four-game losing skid. It was a big night for Yasek at the plate. He had three hits and three RBIs against the school from his home state. Uh, something like... No other. Um, I'll just tell the guys that's my first career walk-off hit ever. Um, so it feels good, you know. It feels good just to win, especially what after um, this past weekend it went through. Um, felt good beating a school like Maryland, you know, um, just getting back on the board with a W. Um, something off speed. I think it was slider. Uh, yeah, he was coming with fastballs. I think he threw me a first or second pitch slider, and I fouled it straight back, and that was a good pitch to hit too. And then he kept coming with fastballs, and I fouled the first one off, and looked at the scoreboard and thought that thought it was pretty hard. It was around 92. Um, so I knew I just had to get my foot down a little bit earlier um, and just roll with it. Uh, tonight was fun, man. It was, it, was, uh, it was a good time to come back after this weekend. It was not a good feeling in the, in the stomach. So we came out here fired up, and we knew we had, a, we had a job to do. And so we came out fired up, and we came out with a chip on our shoulder, and we played Liberty Baseball. I mean, we just played how we know how to. And like I said before, I mean, I have complete trust in my, in my fielders. I mean, Dalton Britt does a heck of a job over there. It's, it's easy knowing I could, I could roll a ground ball and have, have anyone, any, any of those guys to feel the ball for me. It's awesome. And I mean, to be honest with you, that, the ball to me was reflex. You know, I just I, I executed my pitch and it came right back at me. I shot the glove down and made play and did it, you know. Well, we feel very fortunate in the first inning when you walk four guys, that's usually a multiple run inning, usually two or three, maybe even four. We were able to wiggle out of it, and then Carson settled down from there. He gave us five solid innings with one run. Parker came in really throwing well. You know, struck out two guys in a row, arguably two of their better hitters. And then uh, they got an infield hit. Give them credit for scrap, you know, scrapping it, and uh, we couldn't make the play. And then we walked a guy, and then Parker gave up a double. So it happened pretty quickly, and he was throwing pretty well. Um, we get quarterly credit, he came in and did a nice job and got him out. And then uh, in the ninth, uh, obviously DJ let off with a walk and we, we decided we weren't going to sacrifice him over. We didn't want to give him an out. And Shepard got a hit and then Andy had a really good at bat and fouled off multiple fastballs in the low 90s and then uh, drilled a double to left. So I'm proud of the guys for fighting back after last week. Flames continue to stay hot at home. They're now 12-4 and four in this ballpark this year. Shane Quarterly got the win in relief. He now improves to 5-0. and oh. Flames will turn their sights back to Big South Conference play coming up this weekend. Liberty will entertain Charleston Southern starting with game one of a three-game set Friday night at 7 o'clock. In Lynchburg, for the Liberty Flames Sports Network, I'm Nick Pierce.